first port of run. You can sit, you can stand, you can even lay and do first port of bra. Okay, I'm doing it with one hand, feel free to do it with two. Sometimes it can slip up to third, and then you just come right through first, and you're good. Okay, uh, let me answer a couple of questions. I'm gonna try to start doing this more often because it's quicker for me to say it here than to type. By the way, I am just catastrophically behind on emails. I'm gonna to try to get to them, but I have to be honest with you. Um, I'm so focused right now on creating the courses and you know, and making sure they're at just the highest level that I can do, that that's really where my time is taken up. So I'm gonna do my best. Um, but I want you to not, hopefully not feel bad if, especially with comments, like occasionally I'll just notice one or Svetlana will bring me one and I'll answer it. But if, so if you notice that I answer a comment but not yours or other ones, it's not because I sat there and purposely didn't do it. Number one, they don't all come, I don't get, the alerts are not precise at all. I don't know if you find this to be the case on YouTube, but um, they just come randomly, I don't know. So if I notice one, if I happen to have a few minutes and I just look and I'll answer it if I can, uh, but don't take it personally if I don't, because you know I care about all of you equally. I, I don't have preference in that sense, so you know, well that's that. Okay, so let me answer one about um, wrapping. Wrapping versus flexing. Um, so these are the kind of details that I, I care very little about because functionally they operate the same way, right? To move the leg from here to here or here to here or here to here or here to here, it's all the same technique. Core, butt, legs, back. And this is all turnout. The legs operate from turnout and nothing else, supported by the core and your back and straightening of the legs when they are straight. So whether you wrap and strike or whatever, or flex and strike, I, wh what I do is just to the front. Why wrap? Flexing, um, again, I don't really care if someone does this or not. It doesn't make any difference to me, but I don't do it. I think it's not aesthetically pleasing and it doesn't aid technically. Right? So if you flex and then strike, what you'll see in something like grand jeté is, so they'll, let's say chasse, grand jeté, you'll see a flex then point. We don't want that. We, you know, we don't want that at all. We want right off the floor, pointed. And not because of the way it looks. It's a heel ball thing. It, the toes are not relevant in that, in that sense, technically. So, I, you know, wrapping is just something that I don't see a point in. If you want to do it, do it, but provided placement is sorted out first. So these kind of things just don't matter that much. So what I do, what I teach uh, my own family is just put it to the front because that's where we pirouette from, right? So, in the, so for example, why would we wrap in the front but then place our foot to the back? Why not just front and back? Right? So some person got an idea. I don't know when rapping began because it's not relevant to me. But you gotta understand, these are just ideas that some teacher had at some point in history that probably didn't think it through and now we're just kind of inherited it. So we don't, we're, we don't have to do that. I don't think that way. I don't feel obligated to hang on to anything from the past that doesn't make sense and doesn't work. So Grand Plié is a pointless exercise. I've yet to have anybody on earth even try, for that matter, but I invite somebody to try to explain to me what the point of grand plié is. You can't sustain your butt in a grand plié, and your butt is your turnout. Now, here's the thing, and I can, meet, I can even have Setlana demonstrate this. Once you're placed and strong, you can do a grand plié without wobbling and stuff, but grand plié does not help you gain strength at all. It, it just, at all, right? Same with moves like this. Absolutely useless. I mean, useless in the sense that it, it takes you in the wrong direction from where you want to go. So, you know, 
feel free to ask me questions if things don't make sense to you, for example. Like if you're, if you're doing something and it's like, I don't know about this, feel free to ask me and, and I'll do my best to answer it here on the podcast. Okay, there's that. Okay, here's one I've been meaning to answer as well. So it's a question of body work. So body work is a necessity. It's far more important to some extent than even stretching, although stretching is necessary because um, the more strength you build, which is what placement is for, the more you need to balance that strength building with stretching, right? So flexibility gets you nothing unless you're building strength consistently. Then you need to stretch to balance out the strength building and you must have body work. But body work is expensive if you go you know, to some masseuse or massage therapist it's expensive and they don't understand how to work on ballet dancers by and large like I haven't met, I haven't seen one that did I haven't seen many of them but in New York uh, what I saw was uh, no so we also have uh, they're, they're, they're called massage uh, guns I think right and we have one we don't really use it but sometimes when I'm busy and Silana wants to work on her leg she'll use it uh, she also uses a foam roller we have those little spiky balls that you can sit on, like you put it right here where your turnout is, and you just kind of lay on it, sit on it. And, you know, things that you can use your body weight are, are you know, as useful as they can be. It's better than nothing. Um, but we're going to make, uh, um, as part of a course, I'm going to show you how I work on Setlana and Misha. And it's very simple. It's very, very simple. It doesn't require any kind of, like, it's very simple. It's very, very, it's simpler than the elbow. Elbows and forearms, that is something when somebody's body is really tight. Like say a professional dancer or somebody, or it doesn't have to be a professional dancer, but a dancer who's like overworked and I'm trying to rehab their body, sort of get them to an equilibrium and they're tight and twisted and knotted up like Misty was, then yes, I have to use the elbow and the forearm. But if you are consistent with it every single day, a little bit, you know, 15 minutes a day, it's a much more, it, it's a much, it's a less, much less unpleasant process, okay? So it's like anything. You do a little bit every day, you, you, you're not really going to have problems. If you wait, don't do it, and your body gets tight and twisted, then, then it's a little bit like agony for a while. Um, so I'm going to do a video on that. Don't worry about that. But yeah, you, you can use foam rollers and, and little spiky balls and uh, one of those um, massage guns. Okay.